Welcome back. Ah, it's been so long. First of all, let's, 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 let's cooperate today. Okay. Hello again. It's been, I don't know how long, but uh, your girl back. I always say I'm back, but then, you know, then I go ghost again. First things first. My goal for this channel is to give you guys the real me. So this is the real me. No makeup, no nothing. Hair freshly washed. You know, in a hoodie because I'm freezing. And Christmas tree in the background. So. And plus, I have to put on makeup here tonight. Like, that's honestly the main reason. I was thinking about wearing something. I mean, um, like dressing up for this video. And doing my makeup and stuff like that. But then I'm just like, ugh, I have to get ready again tonight. Like, no. Anyways. Welcome back to my channel. For those who follow me, hello, welcome back again. For those who are new to my channel, hello, please subscribe and like this video before you even finish watching it. Just kidding, watch it through. This video is going to be about, I always get this, this question a lot, like how do you stay motivated um, in the gym? Um, how long have I been doing this? Um, who do I coach or do I have a coach and stuff like that so I'm going to elaborate a little bit on that I've actually been going to the gym that I go to now for about four or five years um in the beginning it was just to like lose weight because your girl was a little chunky chunky I'm gonna show you guys videos chunky okay I'll show you videos show you pictures um I just started off like I just wanted to like lose weight that was the first um goal uh it became a habit like I'm not gonna lie throughout the time um, throughout the years I've been on and off so like a lot of either because of life or just I lost interest or whatever the case I tried workout partners didn't really work out well um, some do some don't eventually like once you have a certain goal in mind or you do things a certain way it's kind of just you're just better off alone so for majority of the time like throughout my membership I was going on my own and uh, so yeah so I'm gonna show you guys a couple of progress pictures first so like I had a phase where I wanted to lose weight I started Herbalife for those who don't know google it I ain't got time to talk about it cuz your girl ain't part of that no more um, so I did Herbalife lost a ton of weight then after a while i kind of sort of this is about i want to say like two years ago now or like a last like a last year <laughs> like last year um i decided to get into bodybuilding now however a lot of people tell me oh you could do bodybuilding using herbalife products negative 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 i decided to do it naturally and i uh found a coach he helped me out um i wanted to gain more muscle i wanted to get bulky ish and I started doing that so I started gaining muscle and then after a while I kind of fell out again um, gained a couple more pounds um, wasn't much of a clean bulk it was more of like a dirty bulk and I gained weight then I realized I need to start losing again I started talking to someone got into a relationship not really a relationship but started to talking to, started talking to someone for a while and I realized I was gaining more weight um, mind you I don't know if this is true or not but for me at least I didn't really notice I was getting that much weight mind you I was one I was happy two we would go out to eat and stuff like that three never really complained and four I would see in the mirror what I wanted to see now whenever I took pictures it was a different story so that's when I was like okay we got to do something but after a while we kind of ended up not talking and I was heartbroken not gonna lie this was this year. This is this year now, 2018. I was heartbroken and I wasn't eating for a while. Not saying that like I was, you know, like completely stopped my life or whatever, but my life was it was hurtful. Like I was hurt. So I ended up losing a lot of weight. I think I ended up losing like 15 pounds for not eating like for two weeks. So, but I'm not. I'm not condoning this. Like that's not okay. That's not okay. You need to eat. That's just the circumstance at that moment. So lost 15 pounds and then I once I was over the whole not talking and like stop talking whatever situation I eventually got back into the gym started falling in love with training again and started going hard and these are like my current pictures or my current physique now um, and yeah uh, I love training again I wake up 
every morning and my alarm is set to like 3.30, 3.45, depending how I feel that day. But since now I'm on break from school, I am waking up like around 4, 4.30ish to get to the gym like by 5. And I have been currently training with a friend and she's pretty freaking awesome. Um, so far so good. As far as training other people, I... She, I'm not really training her like she just jumps in with what I whatever I do which I like but as far as training other people I'm not really up for that yet just because I want to have like my brand set that's one of my goals now is to have a brand and um, I want to have a, like a foundation and try to build up slowly so I may take in some people who do ask me to help them like that's fine um, whenever I'm free but as far as like having a set schedule no because i had it before and people just didn't comply and i would waste my time and i don't like my time wasted what else my current workout split actually is okay so i used to have clinical this past semester i had clinicals on wednesday so wednesdays would be my rest day but i would do i would have certain set days i would kind of just do whatever my body was in the mood for so like let's say for instance i try not to do legs and then back because I do like deadlifting on both days, different types of deadlifts. I try to space those out, but I would technically, like I would pretty much just do like legs on its own. Like I'll do quad focused with calves and then I would do shoulders, chest and triceps. Then I will do back and biceps. Then I'll do a rest day. Uh, then I'll do glutes and hamstrings shoulders or back again and then shoulders or whatever again and then start the cycle again i'll get into the whole uh technic technicalities in a different video or something um as far as fitness goals right now i just <laughs> trying to grow my legs more obviously trying to define my shoulders i love legs and shoulders i also trying to focus on my back trying to create that you know illusion and then also when i graduate i do want to do powerlifting so, and I eventually do want to do a bodylifting show. I'll probably do like a, like a figure comp, but that's like later on because that's pretty expensive and your girl needs to work first and get her cars. <laughs> now, how do I stay motivated? Okay, so if you guys saw the pictures, that's exactly why and how I stay motivated. I look back on pictures, I look back on progress, and like sometimes like when you feel like you go or you're going hard in the gym, like you see like little cuts on your arms or like little definition in your legs, and that's enough for me to feed on and continue on. But like I said, I prefer training in the morning early because the way my school schedule is set up is I usually have class in the morning and then I like to take the whole entire day to study so I have no excuse and plus like I just feel more energetic throughout the day I'm used to it it's a habit like it's just that's just what it is however like since I am on break now I have been going a little bit later or sometimes I'll go in the afternoon and it, it feels great the same but my gym gets crazy packed throughout the afternoon so it's kind of annoying when you want to like get in and get out and like try to do what you want to do or what you need to do because people are always using the machines so and then plus like me being a female like it's like it's kind of annoying to be stared at like i'm not even gonna lie like i'm not even trying to sound conceited it is what it is females aren't really known to be lifters or like to lift heavy weight so when i go in the gym it's just like eyes on me and it's kind of annoying so i'd rather just go in the morning barely anyone's there or at least the people that go there already know what i like to do and how i do it and how heavy i go so like they just leave me alone yeah and also like if you really want something you go for it so it's just like okay if you want chick-fil-a you're gonna go get chick-fil-a and, you, and you're gonna sit in that long ass drive through line because you really want it so for me i really want boulder shoulders shoulder boulders boulder boulder shoulders i want boulder sh shoulder boulders and I want nutcracker watermelon crusher legs. So I'm gonna freaking work for them. It's not gonna get handed to you. It, it just doesn't work that way. It really does not. I feed off of that. Also, like I follow a lot of fitness uh, influencers. So I'll tag people that I follow below that motivate me and like, just like, yeah, like get up and crush it. Plus another, listen, let me tell you guys, the key of waking up early and getting through an intense workout pre-workout <laughs> like i don't take an entire scoop i take like a small amount um 
and it just gets me through the day. I'll go into supplements and in probably in a different video. Also, another thing that also helps me is I look back on when I was a little bit chunkier or like when I was in a when my physique wasn't that great and that motivates me to be like, okay, you know what? I don't ever want to look like that again. We need to keep going at it. So that's another thing. Plus, I want to build a fitness brand. So how am I supposed to build a fitness brand and not show the results? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, I want to, I want people to like go along with my journey and like see the changes, the different phases that I go through, and hopefully motivate people and hopefully like create products and, and like just freaking blow up. But yeah, as far as motivation, like I get so many DMs on people saying, oh, keep crushing it, or how do you do it so early? Like, I'm first of all, I'm here, I'm open to like give people advice, but then again, it's just like, oh, when I get those messages, you should train me one day, or you should blow up my phone one day so I could go to the gym. No, honey, I'm not, listen, I'm only 22 years old. I'm way too young to be taking care of people. I don't want kids right now, so. As far as you wanting to work out and get a good workout in, you're responsible for waking up. Like the girl I go with now, I'll get a message from her while I'm getting ready saying that she's already on her way. Like that's the type of people that I would love to train or that I would love to be part of my, you know, um, circle that's going to keep me going. Not people that's like, oh, um, I need like a bunch of alarms. I mean, I have a bunch of alarms, but I need a bunch of alarms plus call me plus this and plus that. Oh my God, I'm dragging like. Maybe you're dragging because of all the crap that you eat. It's it's all the creating habits. Like you need to create a habit out of it. Eventually, like if you're not in love with training, it's just not gonna work out. Like honest, that's just what it is. There's no, there's really no secret to it. It's just putting in hard work, seeing results, wanting to go for more, seeing other people able to do it. It's just like okay, if they can freaking do it, then I can freaking do it. And that's honest to God. Like that's just what I go by. As far as tips. For the gym, I recommend creating a workout split. If you're a beginner, try doing three workouts or three days a week and then slowly start adding more. Um, don't go in with this mentality that you're going to lift so and so weight. Like You have to obviously level up. And don't be shy. Like Everyone's in there for one reason and that's to get a workout in. And if people want to stare at you, let them stare at you. And for those who want to give you advice, just don't take it to heart, like take that advice. I really don't listen to people. Like some people are just like, oh, you should do this next time. It'll target the, get the <laughs> hmm. <That's> <laughs> Let's not even get into that. But yeah, just take advice. Um, follow me, <laughs> I'll motivate you. Uh, any questions, like go ahead and DM me. And yeah, it's just patience, honestly. Uh, if you're not really much into supplements, that's fine. Like supplements are not, supposed to be meal replacements they're supposed to supplement what you're doing like they're supposed to be just like an add-on i only honestly i only use pre, uh, pre-workout and protein and i don't even use protein every single day i mainly use them on leg days because those days i need extra protein however i have been feeling like my protein intake hasn't been where it should be lately so i'm definitely trying to incorporate that back into my um daily diet whatever if not then i would recommend probably gatorade and just take little sips uh, throughout the workout just to stay hydrated and to keep your electrolytes up because you are going to be burning a lot of weight I mean a lot of calories do your also do your research like look look at YouTube videos If you don't know what workouts to do and stuff like that where to target how to target it Go on YouTube and that's honestly how I learned and also the people that I follow on social media I see what they do and I pretty much just freaking copy it and that's pretty much it like there's no magic to it You want it go for it do it and you'll get the results. But that's pretty much it. You guys know my goals. Please follow me on social media. Again, if you need motivation, I'm here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like. And in the description box are all my affiliate links. I would greatly appreciate if you guys shop through my links because I do get a little percentage of commission. You know, help your girl out because she is in nursing school and she broke. But yeah, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. Next video, for sure, will be protein packed.